Hi. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another sorting photo cards video because those are like the only things I know how to film. Today I have a lot of cards, including a new collection. Most of them are Trice cards. So yeah, I'm really excited. I think, I think this like, hold on. This entire stack is just Trice. I don't, um, I don't sleeve the pre-order cards, so that's why they're out. But yeah, lots of Trice to put away today for once. So yeah, let's just get into it. I'm gonna start with my Street Kids binder because that's the one I have the least amount for. Stray Kids, I only have these two photo cards. I have, I have finished a Lino completely for Yellowwood. Um, and I finally have another uh, Jungin uh, Levanter card, the Grey Border. So now I'm just missing Chan. And Stray Kids have announced a comeback, by the way, and a uh, accident, and I'm so excited! It's been so long since I've uh, collected Stray Kids, and I honestly, I just love collecting Stray Kids so much. Uh, yeah, and I already kind of set up for it, so I'm gonna put album, I'm gonna put the three album cards here, and then uh, the OT pre-order set, and then I'll probably just put the jewel cases uh, right here because there aren't as many inclusions as there were yet. But yeah, and that's it for my Stray Kids collection. It's moving kind of slow right now, right now, but it'll move fast in like the next two months. So, and then the next collection I have cards for is my weekly collection. So I have received. Uh, I have received uh, the weekly uh, second anniversary kit. I also have completed my Jihan collection, and I also got a Sujin non-album card. So yeah, all exciting stuff. Uh, let's just flip straight to replay. So. I have this Jihan, and then this Jihan, and so this set is complete. Uh, it's so cute. I just wish uh, these three were in a purple background as well. And then for holiday party, I have this Monday. So I just need Zola. And then I have this Jihan. Cute! I'm only missing four cards to miss Holiday Party Era. So if you're selling them for cheap, let me know. And then for Play Game Awake, I have this Jihan. This is the white box, right? Yeah. have much else except for one other Jihan card which is right here the infamous cherry Jihan I was honestly really scared to get this card but now I have it so yeah I have Jaehee and Jihan completed for uh, Venpata so now I just need to finish the rest of the members for Sujin special stuff, I have her season's greetings from two, for 2021. Uh, honestly, I wanted to collect OT7, but on, the, the cards are kind of hard to find as a set, and so I just wanted Sujin so we get hers. And I love this card, I think she looks really cute in this. 
and then off camera I set up for all of the play game awake pubs and oh my god look at this these are this is all like play game awake the airplane mode era it's crazy so yeah i have for mixer five i have all of these on the way except for the ones with white sleeves in them so i'm still missing uh the second round of apple music lucky draws and then i i have all of these on the way this is the m wave pub and then i'm missing uh the market shop pubs and then I'm missing all of these. Well, I don't think I'm missing a lot of them to pick anymore. But, yeah. Honestly, I have my hopes down to get any of these, but I put a space here anyways, just, just in case I ever do get my hands on them. And then I have a page set up for the second anniversary March. So we have the OG6 set. Sujin, the New Age Order, now Moon's, Moon Sun are the oldest, not uh, Su Yun. Also, did you see that Jiha that Ji Yoon, I mean, opened like a Twitter and Instagram? I follow her, obviously. But I'm very glad that she decided to communicate with us. I was honestly, I honestly was just thinking that we'll never hear from her ever again. But I'm glad she's communicating with us. She seems to still be under IST. So I really hope that like, even though she, she probably won't join weekly again, but I hope that she can still give them like her songs, you know? So yeah, hopes to that. And then, uh, off camera, I put in all the prints. So here we have Lenny Line and Maknae Line. And I put Jihan first before Jaehee because Jaehee is the only vertical one and I didn't want her to have beavers horizontal. But yeah, stunners. And yeah, that's it for my weekly binder. I don't have as many weekly photo cards as I usually do. And honestly, it's really weird. <laughs> I hope I can get more soon. That's it for this binder. Let's move into my fourth gen girl group binder. Okay. Today we're going to be putting in a new collection. Also, Nmix finally announced a comeback. I'm so excited. JYP, why did you wait this long? They debuted in February and now they're finally having a comeback. But yeah i'm really excited more lily pieces i already have like five pobs on the way um i might just order like one more set because i'm trying not to go too serious especially because uh stray kids are having a comeback and i feel like weekly are bound to do something soon and rocket punch is currently promoting which by the way i did order the albums but i ordered them through make star and they're taking like forever and i didn't order any other albums because i thought make star would have shifted by now foolishly and now because of korean thanksgiving it's taking you longer but it's okay it's okay uh, that unboxing will be up soon if y'all still want it i guess but anyways this is about nmix i'm really excited i already put up a page i don't know how it'll all be set up yet but i'm excited also i don't collect uh japanese stuff for kepler so that's why there's nothing here for jaehyun but I do think that Kepler's gonna have one last comeback and then world tour, maybe? Or at least an actual concert. And then I also don't have anything for Pixie, but I do have a new collection. <laughs> yeah, I'm collecting CSR OT7 because who am I, honestly, I just, I love collecting groups fully for no reason. Yeah, I've been following CSR since they were 05 class in like 2020. And uh, they were they used to be under J Planet, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it was a company of Lunar Solar. And then the company went bankrupt and, uh, and they transferred. And so I thought maybe their debut got canceled, but nope. 
here they are and honestly I'm so happy about that because I was really scared that their debut got cancelled and that we never see them because they deactivated their Instagram and like weren't active for like a while and I thought they were just gonna silently just never debut and I was really sad but here they are debuting with album of the year like this is literally one of the best debut albums I've ever heard like I think um sequence 7272 and uh Femme. oh my god I cannot remember I cannot like think of but Femme uh have my favorite debut albums this year because honestly it wasn't that big that big of a fan of fearless but i love uh blue flame and the great mermaid and like all the resides and i like fearless now but at first i did not but yeah this is all, all i have for the outdoor flower pastel set i don't know what you want to call it and then for the purple set, I have these cards. I have like five more albums on the way, but I'm waiting for my Rocket Punch albums to arrive to my K-Addy and then send them all out together. See. Yeah, I'm just missing Soyan, Duna, and Yehem. And this is the one I'm missing the most for, honestly. And then we have the outdoor set. I wanted to collect pops, but honestly, they they really debuted at like the worst time for me because I was in the middle of prep for Twice because Twice announced to come back and then Rocket Punch announced to come back and I was like just came back on vacation and uh, it's just a lot of things were happening. I just need the sewer. But yeah, I'm probably not gonna collect pops. I'm probably just gonna collect uh, one OT7 pop set per era, maybe. Gumi is my bias, so if I, anything, I'd collect her pops and signed items. But yeah, this is my Chotsarang TSR collection. I love them so much. Please listen to their debut if you haven't yet. It's so good. Yeah, and then I don't have anything for Rocket Punch, but I did set up already in the back with these two pages because it's going to have the same amount of cards that um, Yellow Punch had, except I'm going to try for more fan signs and I'm going to try to collect like one other OT6 set. Let's put them in there. But yeah, that's it for my fourth turn girl group binder. Not a lot today, but there will be much more <laughs> in the near future. Finally, we have my red velvet and twice binder. Honestly forgot to mention it, but I did move all my collections right after I did move all my collections right after my photo card collection video. Uh just a lot of things happened like right after I filmed that where I was like, oh well, now it's a surprise. So yeah but i put twice in red velvet much smaller binder now but like this huge bit of space and then it will have and then they have a bit and then they have less room to grow but honestly they're not growing that much right now i need to work on their collections more but yeah so i have all four ot9 pre-order sets so let's just put those in the archiver and uh, once again I do not sleeve these I just don't see the point and there's so many of them that I have to waste so many sleeves and they take up so much space and they kind of bulk up my binder because I used to sleeve them but they bulked up my binder and so oh, wait. and so I just don't really sleeve them anymore and that's fine honestly i'm thinking of separating them from my al album photo cards binder and just have like a twice pre-order binder because i want to collect all the ot9 pre-orders like from past to now so yeah then i have the 
Power Babe set. I think this is probably like my favorite one. It's like probably like the most cohesive out of all of them. And we have the Pathfinder. Honestly, the Spy like Y2K concept was kind of random, but I loved it. I they they absolutely slayed. Like I love this comeback. I haven't liked a Twice comeback this much in like so long. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I love all of Twice's music. Twice is my favorite girl group. They release like my favorite K-pop girl group music out of all the groups like out there right now. But honestly, like it's not my favorite mini. I feel like for I feel like Taste of Love is probably like my favorite one of my favorite minis. Taste of Love and Fancy You definitely up there. Really up there. But I just think this is so good. I, this is definitely like my favorite title track out of a while because I think the last title track I like really love loved like first listen was probably uh, feel special. I like more and more first listen. I also like scientists first listen, but talk they just don't compare to talk about talk. It's just so good. They laced crack in it every time I listen to it. I like. I get all hype, especially the last chorus. And yeah, that's all the order sets. This one kind of annoys me because I wish they were all like pointing like towards the clock or like imitating their characters like Nyon was in this, like because this picture is so cute. But I wish they were all pointing towards their birthday clock because Chewie is just standing here. That's just like twice once, twice nine time, which is cute, but I'm like, why, why aren't you near the birthday clock? And then Geo is like, that's like a rejected like album pick. I don't know. It just annoys me. And then I have nothing until yes or yes, I think. I don't think I stored this in the last one. If I did, oh well, you're seeing me store it again. But yeah, I got this Jungyeon card, so. Cute. Oh, I need to work on this. And then for Feel Special. I have something for this 59 set. I have this Chaeyoung card. Cute. And then we get into between one and two. I have some nylon cards on the way. I'm like three cards away from finishing her, but the cards are kind of hard to find, honestly. So, and then I have so I have Jungyeon set completed. I have her archiver like set of outfits. And her message card and the cryptography for concept. And then the Pathfinder version concept. Cute! I love the plushy photo cards. And then this era I decided to collect my top three but I I'm collecting the OT9 plushie set so I didn't want to separate that so I decided to keep Jungyeon separate and then put Chiyo and Chuyi who are my uh, top two bias records and then have them on here separate in a eight pattern and then the OT9 plushie set behind them so right now I only have Chewy photo cards so we have this one and then this cute uh, tomato uh, photo card. So cute. And then this is the OT9 set. Let's take this out. So I have it completed. I have nylon. Jungyeon. I collected a dupe. But it was kind of easy to get, so it's not that big of a deal. Momo, Sana, Gio, Mina, Dayan, Chaeyoung, Jimmy. It really annoys me that Dayan doesn't have an animal and that it's chocolate. Like, the thing is though, her whole thing is that she's like super pale, so she's like tofu, doo. 
so why didn't they get like a, like at least like a white animal or like I'm like you didn't even need to get tofu like maybe like a marshmallow or something <laughs> like why not why a chocolate bar why a Ghirardelli chocolate I just want to know like what the thought process was behind that like decision but yeah I have it completed and it looks so cute and I love the backs of all their little animal plushies honestly my favorite is probably um momo honestly probably the these top three and then like uh, i don't know honestly i just love i love all of these cards <laughs> and then i also collected ot9 for the message cards so i have another dupe jung momo these are all like my own pools Mina, Chaeyoung, and Chewy. Yeah, I have Sana on the way in a tree, but let me just put paper here right now. And then I'll just get Nyan, Geo, and Dayans. I'll either trade or buy. Honestly, I don't really care. And then I don't have any pre-order benefits on hand right now except for the ooh, the target one for Jungyeon. Right now I'm just going to put it right here. Because I feel like I'm going to put the Withmu or the JYP shop in the middle. And yeah, that's my 2-1-2 collection. I've gotten pretty far in it. I'm almost done, just missing like four cards, I think. Yeah, I'm missing one Chewy, because I have all the Geo on the way. Um, yeah, and then I'm missing uh, Nyon, Geo, and Dion's uh, message cards. So we have Jungyeon, Chewy, then the OT9 set, and then the other OT9 set. So cute! Let me end on this page. So yeah, thank you. That was all I had today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll have way more cards next time. And I'll try to post a bit more. You'll probably see see another video like this in like mid-October. Uh maybe November. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.